All right, so we are now recording. Um, so thank you so much, first of all, for uh, offering to volunteer for CS Education Week, which starts next week. Um, and this is just sharing the basic information about how to have a successful uh, virtual visit session and answering any questions if you have questions and um, also providing some tips and advice for how to make it the most beneficial for you and the students as possible. So my name is Sarah Thomas. I'm the assistant director at the K-12 STEM Center. And um, that's my, uh, the best email to reach me is the, that K-12 STEM 1 email. Um, and this is a part of our CS Education Week. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'm gonna share the slides in the chat. And this is the link to be able to see more about what our Computer Science Education Week is all about. So um, this is gonna be a short um, information session. Um, I'll just share what the CS uh, Ed Week virtual visit is, the, um, the next step. So we're gonna skip the STEM story practice. Um, or save it till the very end, talk about next steps, tools and resources that will save you some time um, to be able to create a really great presentation and a Q&A if you've got questions. So the virtual visit is gonna be about 30 minutes long. Um, and the reason that we do this is because um, seeing someone who actually does computer science makes a really big difference for students. And most of the students who are participating in this um, virtual visit are going to be elementary school age. So for them to see someone who is actually doing computer science um, increases their interest in computer science starting at that young age. Um, it also shows that computer science isn't just for Bill Gates, right? It's for everyone. Anyone can be can do computer science, and the sooner they start to see that, the sooner they see that that's an option for them. And also, it increases um, students' confidence to be able to overcome challenges when you share about your own personal challenges that you have overcome, um, which is a natural part of sharing uh, about your own computer science um, experiences or journey. And um, also, just a side note, if Computer science isn't your um, major, that's okay. As long as it's a STEM story, um, something to do with science, technology, engineering, or math, uh, it's still gonna really be beneficial and um, be really useful for the students. So um, don't worry if you're not a computer science major. Um, and so last, the reason that we do this is because it shows the real, real world relevance of computer science, that it's not just you know, sitting in a room by yourself doing code, but it's really related to a lot of other fields and a lot of other subjects. So the, um, the virtual visit itself, so I said it's about 30 minutes, it's gonna be um, about five minutes in the beginning. I really encourage you to try to get the students to open up, the class to open up. So ask questions about their computer science experiences. Almost all of those, the classrooms that have signed up for these visits have done some type of computer science. So they, um, the elementary school students have done a lot of Scratch. So I don't know if you're familiar with Scratch, um, but they've done some type of very introductory um, fun activity around coding. And so I'm sure they'll be, be really excited to share about that with you. Um, it might take a minute for them to warm up, but I highly encourage you to, to start with those kinds of questions. Uh, if it only takes one minute, that's okay. Um, but I've blocked about five minutes here for that in this. Um, you'll share your computer science story, and I'll talk about how you will do that in just a second. Um, we are trying to pair at least two volunteers for each virtual visit so that classrooms get a variety of stories. So you may have a co-presenter with you, another volunteer. If so, about seven minutes each that you'll send, spend on your um, talking about your computer science experience, your computer science story, and then um, end with a Q&A. So hopefully students will have a lot of questions by then. And if not, that's okay. You can talk a little bit more about something that you might have skipped in order to save time. So I wanna show you what these, um, the virtual visit uh, will look like, actually physically with the slides. So I really um, encourage you to make the best use of 
um, virtual visit slides as possible so that you can really add visuals and make it interesting in that way. So I'm just going to walk through. Um, everyone will have access to this template. You'll just make a copy and um, make whatever changes you need to make. So changes are highlighted in yellow, starting with just introducing um, the virtual visit. Um, these are just sort of like norms. And for the young students, right, um, letting them know to save their questions for the end and things like that. Um, an agenda, so just letting them know what to expect. So these are the questions that you can ask them to start getting them to talk about their computer science experiences. Please feel free to edit this, um, change the pictures, whatever you want to do to make it um, more yours. So these are these questions are kind of geared more towards elementary school students, but if you can think of even better ones. Um, you are welcome to change whatever you like. These are just ones that we've used in the past and have been great. All right, so once you um, have talked to them and asked them the questions, you'll introduce yourself. So you'll say your name, uh, where you're from, and your major. We recommend adding pictures wherever possible, so you can go ahead and put a picture of yourself here. Uh, for your computer science story. So these are some examples of the kinds of things you might want to add or talk about. So how you got your very first start with computer science. So your first computer science memory. Um, it can also be a STEM memory, a science memory or a technology memory um, if you didn't ex experience computer science till, till later in life. Um, so any kind of stories or experiences you have, they're gonna really wanna be, they're going to be interested in that and want to hear about that. Um, challenges that you had. So anytime you face the challenge and you overcame it, they love hearing those stories because it, it makes them feel like they can do that. Um, passions, anything that you're excited about. If you're really excited about something, it'll come across for them and it'll get them excited. And then any meaningful people. So for example, um, you know, a, a parent that you had that uh, was already doing something with technology and made you inspired to do this or a teacher right that's going to be really meaningful for them. And then um, goals, this is especially for like older students, what you'd like to do once you graduate, but the younger students will be interested as well. Um, this part here what's it like studying computer science in college. I added this slide um, separately because this is going to be more for older students, so if you're paired with a classroom that's of high school students. Um, they're going to want to know what's it like being a college student. So they're going to have questions about that, uh, about maybe how you chose your major. So they're going to be interested in more um, those kinds of experiences. So this is if you are presenting for high school, um, I highly recommend adding some information about that because they're going to be really interested. And that's it. And then you'll answer some questions. So I'm going to go back to the presentation now. Um, which is here. So um, the, the grade band that you'll be working with, so whether it's gonna be elementary or high school, those are the two uh, classrooms that have signed up for these virtual visits. Um, depending on what grade band you are assigned, which you'll find out in the next, um, either today or tomorrow, um, it's gonna really make a difference on how you structure your stories, right, and how you share that information. So for high school, um, those students are going to really care about um, so using computer science to solve real world problems, how it's relevant to their everyday life, um, how you chose a college major, something that surprised you that overcame it, right, if you um, defy expectations, they're going to be really curious and want to know more, and experiences from um, that you had from high school. For elementary school students, it's the opposite. It's thinking about those early years, um, using a lot of visuals. I think that's like intuitive, right? Because elementary school students are still learning how to read in some cases, but it's worth repeating, you know, lots of pictures, um, making the text brief and large because they're still learning how to read in some cases. Um, funny and silly stories that are appropriate that they're gonna really enjoy those and be compelled to listen. Um, uh, experiences from your this 
from when you were this age. And then a good kind of trick for engaging younger students is asking them questions, especially yes or no questions um, periodically. So like, can you raise your hand if um, you have an idea of what a computer scientist does? So things like that to get them engaged. And for all age groups, it's gonna be really useful to use metaphors, images, and examples wherever possible when talking about your story. So um, I want to take a second to show you. Um, so there was the virtual visit slides I showed you, but I want to show you an example that someone else put together that I think does a really good job of showing for elementary how this might look. So that is uh, none of these. So let me click it here. All right, so this was a, a volunteer um, or sorry, a USC student who shared their STEM and computer science story. Um, and so she started out with the same kind of um, about me. She decided to add fun facts about herself, which I think is great when you're working with young students. Um, so right, having a cute dog, right? That'd be an opportunity to say like, who else here has a pet? Raise your hand. Um, just to make herself relatable and to get them interested right away. Um, so this is her slide for talking about why she chose to study STEM, why she's interested in STEM. Notice it's just pictures, right? She's just talking about um, what these things meant to her and the students just have a visual representation. She did this very cool journey slide um, where she used, it looks like it could be something from Canva and added some visuals here. So you're more than welcome to copy this slide and add it for yourself if you'd like to use that. It's nice and simple and straightforward. Um, and she had a separate slide here for why she chose a computer science major. So this was her story based off of what was important to her um, and what she wanted to talk about. So it's obviously gonna be different for everyone who presents, but this is just a really great example, I think of how um, you know, using fun visuals and how really simple it can be, especially for elementary audiences, um, how to talk about yourself and your computer science story. You don't have to overly explain all of the details of what it is that um, computer science is, right? You can keep it fun and short and, um, and that'll really engage students. So let's see, back to my presentation here. Um, I'm gonna stop there see if there's any questions, and then talk about the next steps and what you'll do from here. So are there any questions that have to do with the virtual visit, with sharing your STEM story? Happy to answer questions now. You can also type a question in the chat if you've got um, a question that you're thinking about and I can move on and you can write questions later there. Both are fine. I'll wait just another minute. All right. Um, so again, you're welcome to ask questions in the chat or email me afterwards. Um, but I just wanted to give you an example of an answer that someone did for kind of thinking about their um, computer science story. So they were thinking, you know, why am I passionate about computer science? And this was their answer. So this is what they used during their um, computer science story that they shared with students. Um, and I won't read it out loud, but um, the language of this, uh, this response is very much like for middle school audiences. So just to give you an idea of, um, you know, the language and the kind of uh, topics discussed, I think this would be a great answer for middle school or high school. Um, for elementary, you might want to um, even be more specific, um, talking about instead of technological advances, talk about really specific examples of technology that they may have seen or phones, like maybe a phone that your one of your parents or a family member has, something like that to really make it specific and tangible for them. All right, so talking about next steps, um, the very first next step is uh, for you to create your slides so um, that you'll have those visuals to share during your presentation. 
Um, please feel free to steal or borrow whatever I've shared today. So any of these resources are free game. Um, then if you would like to have our feedback on that, that's completely optional. But if you would like for us to take a look at it, please send it to us by Friday at 10 a.m. Um, and that's the email address you can send it to. And we'll give you all of our notes and any ways to improve it or just say that you've done a great job. And so most importantly, I think um, you are going to receive your assignment for the virtual visit either today or tomorrow. And um, it's going to contain your visit time. Um, also the teacher and the teacher's email address. Um, and the uh, whoever else you'll be presenting with. So you'll have a sense before you go in, you know, the, the grade level, um, who you'll be presenting with. So you'll have a better sense of how to prepare. Um, and we've assigned for each session, a session lead and a co-lead. So the session lead will be responsible for creating a Zoom link. Please, when you create that Zoom link for the session, um, go ahead and introduce yourself, um, send an email that introduces yourself to the teacher, um, you know, share your enthusiasm for, for volunteering and meeting their class. Um, and please, please, please reply all so that we can also keep track of that Zoom link so we can have that as well. Um, so that is all of the information I have. I'm really happy to have finished before 5.30. Um, and I will go ahead and stop the recording. And if you've got questions, you can ask me after the recording. Um, and welcome to um, turn off your turn on your cameras and, and chat then if you would like. So thank you everyone who wasn't able to make it today is watching this later. I'm stopping the recording uh, now. <laughs>